This is the Chase IHG Premier credit card, and it could possibly be the best hotel credit card under $100 on the market today, and it's certainly my favorite one. I've had this card for over one year now, so I want to give my unbiased review of this card, and I'll go through the welcome offer, the spending categories, and the plenty of benefits that come with this card. And even with some of the negatives, hopefully you'll see why I'm holding this card year after year in my wallet and why you might want to do the same. So let's get started off by talking about why you might want this card to begin with. IHG is one of the largest hotel chains around the world. It certainly rivals Marriott, Hilton, and Hyatt, and it even rivals Choice and Wyndham if you want to consider those competitors as well. They have 19 brands around the world and over 6,000 properties. They have lower end properties like Holiday Inn and Holiday Inn Express, and they also have luxury hotels like Kempton and Intercontinental. So they have a pretty wide range of properties to choose from. I tend to focus on some of the more economical stays so that my credit card points can go farther, but if you're looking for a luxurious stay, you can do that as well. The point redemptions are extremely reasonable. They're similar to Marriott and Hilton, and most of the time I can find way more affordable stays with IHG that I can with those other two programs. So Hyatt is going to be my number one program in terms of rewards from credit cards, but IHG is a solid number two for me. A huge reason why I would put IHG number two ahead of the other competition is because of this credit card. And I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves right now, but this credit card offers a fourth night free when you are paying points. So let's say your room is going to cost 25,000 points per night. Instead of paying 100,000 points for your stay, you are going to be getting the fourth night free and only paying 75,000 points for your stay. And that comes with this card and also two other cards that IHG has. We'll definitely come back and talk about the benefits of this card a little bit later, but now let's move on to the annual fee. And like I already said, there is gonna be $99 that you're gonna have to pay every single year you keep this card opened, and that is not gonna be waived in the first year, at least with the current welcome bonus right now. The standard offer is going to get you 140,000 IHG G points after spending $3,000 in the first three months. But what are these points actually worth? Well, if you're into the credit card reward space, you may know that you can transfer out some of your credit card rewards points to airline and hotel partners, like with Chase Ultimate Rewards Points or Amex Membership Rewards Points. But unfortunately, with IHG points, you can just redeem them at IHG hotels. There's no transferring of rewards, and that also means that the IHG points are going to be less valuable than those Chase or Amex points. A lot of blogs out there might only value IHG points at 0.5 cents per point or 0.6 cents per point, and that is a very low value in my experience because I can typically get anywhere from 0.7 cents per point or 0.9 cents per point, and even on some redemptions, I have found over one cent per point if I'm looking for the right property at the right time. This may sound like a small difference when valuing your IHG points, but trust me, it's a big difference. If you were to value this welcome bonus 140,000 points at 0.5 cents per point, that would mean your 140,000 point bonus is equal to $700 worth of value. That is definitely pretty good for a $99 annual fee card, but I believe that we can do better. Depending on how you want to view your IHG points, I like to view mine at around 0.8 cents per point, even though that may be stretching it for some people. You can value your 140,000 point welcome offer at over $1,100. That is a really nice bonus there, and definitely what made me sign up for the card in the first place. Of course, at any point during the video, if you do want to apply for this card, I do have a link in my description that you can click on, and it'll take you to the application, and then you can apply for the card right there, and that will be a huge 
way that you can support this channel grow so that I can reinvest all the points and dollars I make from these credit card referrals and affiliate links back into the channel to make it even better. We do have some decent spending categories on this card, but you're more looking to get this card for all of the benefits it provides. So we'll go over that first and we'll start off with the anniversary free night. This is why you might want to go with this $99 annual fee card over the $0 annual fee version. Because of that anniversary free night, I just got mine deposited into my account after holding the card for one year. You will not get it in your first year, but you do get it every year after that. So I went to IHG.com. I saw that I did have a free night award in there, and I was able to book it at any hotel I wanted. This is going to be capped at 40,000 IHG points for one night, but you can use any IHG points that you have in your account to top up that balance. So let's say that you have a 60,000 point room in mind that you want to book, but this free night is not gonna cover all the way up to that, that's okay, because you can use 20,000 of your own IHG points in your account, plus that anniversary free night, and you can book that room for that one night. I recently booked a room that was 38,000 IHG points for one night, so that means I did not have to pay any extra IHG points, and that room was gonna cost me $389 for that one night, and so it's almost like I'm saving $389, and then if you want to subtract the annual fee out of that, then you are are getting basically $300 worth of value right there just for holding this card. Basically with this one benefit alone, you are making this card worth it to hold in your wallet year after year. Of course, you are going to have to actually travel and stay at an IHG at least once a year, but I find myself doing that pretty easily and so I don't have a problem with that. And now back to this fourth night free benefit. You are only gonna be getting this benefit when you have one of the IHG cards. So either the no annual fee version or one of these $99 annual fee cards. I try to only stay at IHGs now with exactly four night stays because typically after that I might want to move on to the next travel destination or after that maybe come home. And so I find this to be a really solid way to use my points and only pay for three nights. This is a lot better in my opinion than Hilton or Marriott where you have to stay five nights just to get the fifth night free. And remember, you can't do this with any status at IHG. It's only gonna come from holding one of their credit cards. And speaking of status, let's talk about the Platinum Elite status you're gonna be getting from holding this IHG Premier card. This is the second highest status at IHG and you don't really have to worry about Diamond Elite, the highest level of status. Platinum Elite is a pretty good sweet spot for you because you are gonna be passing up a ton of people that don't have access to these credit cards. Because remember, IHG is a global brand, but only a very small population of the world has access to apply for this card. I've gotta be honest, my Platinum Elite status hasn't really gotten me anything too significant yet. Just a couple free drinks at the bar when I checked in, which actually, it was really nice, but it's not like anything huge. There was a possibility of a room upgrade at uh, one time, but I don't know if I exactly got upgraded. They put me on the top floor, so I think that was an upgrade, but I don't really prefer the top floor of hotels, so you know, it's not a huge benefit there, but I am staying at multiple IHG properties in the coming months, and so I'm very excited to see what status can give me there. The next benefit is a global entry or TSA pre-check credit every four years. When I applied and got approved for this card, I actually had another credit card paying for my global entry application, and so I just gave my card number to my mom, and she used it to pay for her global entry application. And when you do that, you also get TSA pre-check included with your global entry.
The next benefit we're talking about is the $50 of United Airlines Travel Bank credit that you're gonna get every year. This is kind of nice, even though I've never actually used it. You get $25 of United Travel Bank credit in the first six months of the year, and then you get the same $25 credit in the second six months of the year. And I've tried to use this. I want to use it. It's just a little bit difficult because you can only use this travel bank credit when you are booking United Airlines flights. Let's say you're flying a United Airlines flight from LA to San Francisco. Well, you can use your travel bank credit that way. But if you are booking an award flight like I just did on Ethiopian Airlines through the United website, I cannot pay my taxes and fees with the travel bank credit. So that's been my problem with trying to use this credit, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll use it at some point and then I can get $25 off of that flight booking and I'll be happy about it. I do want to mention the spending categories. It says on the website you're going to be earning 26 times points when you use your card at IHG. Well, that's not necessarily the case, but it's still a pretty good category. So you are going to be earning 10 times base points by just being an IHG member. That's by signing up for a free account. You're going to be earning an additional six times points by being a Platinum Elite member, which you get that from holding this card. So technically, Technically, that is coming from the card, but not for you actually paying with this card. And then when you hand over this card to pay, you are going to be earning an additional 10 times points. So don't get tricked into thinking this card is going to be a 26 times point earner, but it can really come in handy when paying cash days at IHG. You're also going to be earning five times points in travel dining, and gas stations. But like I said, IHG points are definitely not anywhere close to as valuable as Chase Ultimate Rewards Points or Amex Membership Rewards Points or Capital One Miles. So when using this card for those purchases, just make sure that you actually do want to do that because five times IHG points on dining is probably not as good as earning three times points in dining from a transferable currency card. And then you're gonna be earning three times points on everything else, which is pretty solid. I'm very happy about that. I mean, it's certainly better than some of the Marriott cards that only earn two times Marriott points when you spend on everything else. And so I will definitely take it, but I'm not gonna be using this card for that everything else category. So who is this card for and who would I recommend apply for this one? I would say it's for IHG travelers, but it can be casual or frequent. I had never stayed at an IHG property until I got this card. I got the card, got the huge welcome bonus, and then I'm like, okay, I'm ready to stay at IHGs, and I have loved this card ever since, so don't worry about not having any IHG experience until you get this card. That is perfectly okay. Of course, if you are planning to get this card, you will have to be under Chase 524. It's Chase's rule that says if you have been approved for five or more personal cards in the last 24 months, you would be ineligible to apply and get approved for Chase credit cards. It is a really annoying rule and I don't like it, but it is their standard. And so you wanna make sure that your personal credit card approvals are under five in the last 24 months. And this credit card can also be great for IHG business credit card holders. Yes, I do have the personal version of the card and the business version of the card, both having $99 of annual fees. And the cards are extremely similar, but I mean, the benefit of signing up for two of these cards is you get two free anniversary nights every single year instead of just one. So you can stack that and get a really nice two day stay out of your credit cards instead of just one free night. If this video made you a little bit more curious about the IHG program, I have a video right here with my first impressions of IHG after my first stay. And if you want to learn more about any of these credit cards mentioned in this video, I do have a link in my description that'll take you to learn more about them. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.